Hey, it's James Bausch, your local broker here in North Central Indiana, here for our July 2021 Cosmos County Housing Update, looking at six key indicators of the market, letting you know, you know what's going on with real estate here locally. We're going to start off with the number of new properties that hit the market, looking at the last 30 days, comparing to the same time frame as last year. So in the last 30 days, we've had 133 properties hit the market. Uh, last year, we had 131, so just a slight uptick over last year. On the other hand, we've had a drastic decrease in the number of properties actually sold. So this year we had 107 homes sell over the last 30 days. And over the last time, same time frame last year, we had 136, which is over 21% decrease uh, over last year. Now I don't know exactly what's going on, uh, if that's a kind of a short blip on the radar or if it's gonna be a longer trend. Now what we are seeing on the coast is we are seeing a little bit more inventory, longer days on market. Um, some people are thinking that we're starting to see a shift here in the market place. Um, so we'll have to kind of see if that trend on the coast, it kind of comes here to the Midwest, and we will definitely keep you posted on that information. The next number we're going to look at is the average selling price. So over the last 30 days, we've had an average selling price of $296,096, which is a 5% increase over last year. Nice, healthy increase. For last year, we had $281,574. The median selling price, on the other hand, is up drastically over last year. This year, we're at 237,000. We're up 28% over last year, where we were at 185. Now, typically, it's the other way around. We see the average selling price way higher or in terms of a percentage increase over the median. Um, typically, those higher-end homes are selling, drawing up the average. In this case, I think it's really the middle part of the market that is increasing so steadily and being so strong that it's bringing the median up. It's not really the high-end homes bringing everything up. The next number is the average days on market. So how long is it taking a home to sell on today's market in the average of 26 days right now in the middle of the summer. Last year we were at 48, so it's a 45% decrease, almost 50% decrease cutting that number in half over last year. Keep in mind the homes over 350,000 were still over 45 days on market. So those homes are taking longer to sell here in our marketplace. The last number we're gonna look at is the sale price to list price ratio. So what is the seller getting in comparison to what they were asking? Believe it or not, this is our first month in a long time that we've had a number over 100%. And right now, over the last 30 days, for those 133 homes that have sold, we're averaging 101% of asking price. That's up 2% of last year, we were at 99%. If you have any questions about what this means for you, the value of your home, or what it looks like to be a buyer or a seller in this market, reach out to us, let us know. And do me a favor, if you find this information helpful, please let us know. We would appreciate some feedback. If you're finding it valuable, give us a thumbs up, email us back, let us know, hit us up on social media. Uh, let us know if there's anything else you would like to have us present to you. If you have any questions about what's going on with the real estate market, we want to be your go-to resource. So blessings you all. We will catch you next month for our August Cosgaster County housing update.